What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to find KDP niches for notebooks using this simple and easy method. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now what we're going to do is just share with you a real simple and easy method for finding niches on notebooks for KDP. And we're going to be doing this for free and just by using Google. Now, when it comes to actually finding niches, that's the easy part. Niches are everywhere, but you need to understand how to find them. Now, like I said, we're going to use Amazon. Well, I didn't say that, but we're going to use Amazon and we're going to use Google. Now, when it comes to niches for notebooks, they're absolutely everywhere. Literally everything is a niche. Now, how do we find them? Well, pretty simple. We can use animals. We can use jobs. We can use food, pets, fruits, sports, hobbies, and even more. Now, what we want to do is use Google to find lists of these niches. So if we go back over to here, you can type in list of animals, and it's going to pull up vertebrae, insects, dinosaurs, reptiles, amphibians, and all these other animals as well and each one of them is a niche same with jobs there's so many different types of jobs out there nurses teachers doctors all these are niches and people are looking for notebooks in these niches and it's the same with food so believe it or not people are actually looking for a pizza notebook and things like this so you could fill that gap in the market by actually providing value and creating the book which people are actually searching for and we can do that with all of these pets animals pretty much the same thing but people are more passionate about their pets so people are really passionate about their dogs their cats their rabbits and all of those animals so if you create a notebook that pulls an emotion out of someone in a certain niche then you'll find it really really easy to actually sell those books but it's the same with all of these even with fruits so people are looking for a banana notebook an apple notebook a strawberry notebook believe it or not people are actually searching for this and i'll show you near the end of the video how to actually see if there's demand for certain niches but again we can do that with fruit we can do it with sports we can do it with hobbies. We can use Google to find all these different types of lists. And then we can just use Amazon to see if there's demand. And we can actually do this with a lot of different book types. For this example, we're just using notebook. But if we go over to list of hobbies, you can use this list of hobbies for logbooks, planners. So there's going to be knitting, paper, notebook or something like that you could do a writing notebook a gardening planner a gardening planner logbook sewing logbook or a planner there's so many ideas once you start looking through all these different types of lists now let's go back over to amazon and let's actually see if any of these niches are showing up in amazon and if anyone's actually searching them so what i'm going to do is just change this to all departments and let's use not list of animals, not list of jobs. Let's use a list of pets, no. List of fruit, list of sports. We've done that in a previous video. So let's go to list of pets. So fish, a fish notebook. Is there anyone searching for that? Let's take a look. So fish notebook. And as we can see, people are actually searching for this. We have a fish notebook there, fish notebook for kids, fish notebook paper, fish notebook journal, and a koi fish notebook. So when Amazon actually auto-populates this, 
that's how we can tell if people are actually searching this. So if I typed in fish notebook and nothing showed up here, chances are no one's actually searching that on Amazon. But because they've auto-populated this, we know that there's traffic and we know there's people searching for this. Now, there's a lot of stuff you can do from here to see if a keyword is profitable. We could click on that. Just give that a second, fish notebook. We can see that there's only 3,000 results. And from, from here, we could use the SPT, that self-publishing titans, Chrome extension. Now, if you don't have that installed, it's completely free. Go and Google it, download it, and install it. And then once on here, I'd click turn on, and then it's going to give me a niche score for Fish Notebook, and the higher the better. But this free Chrome extension will let me know if this keyword is profitable. If it's not profitable, I would move on to the next keyword in that list. So the next one would be Fish Notebook for Kids. I'd click on that and then check to see if it's profitable. From here, we can actually see there's 50,000 results. So this is something, a niche, that I would not publish a book in. But again, I'd go through all of these keywords to see if they're profitable. Then I'd move on to the next niche or the next animal within that niche list. So if we go back over to here, list of animals, or should I say list of pets, where was it? It was just here. Now I'd go on to the next one. Now what I would do is actually open this in a tab. Let's close all the other ones for a second. There we go. But now I'll just go through all of this list. I'd go through each one, go over to Amazon, plug that in, see if there's demand. If there is demand, I'll see if it's profitable. If it is profitable, I'll go ahead and create that notebook. But from here, we can see we have cats, dogs, birds, rabbits, guinea pigs, fish. So these are actually the most popular pets in Australia. Then we have more unusual pets can include reptiles, ferrets, stick insects. So these are just other niches, especially like ferret. So let's check that, a ferret notebook. So let's take that away. Let's go to the beginning. Ferret, is that how we spell ferret? A ferret notebook, we can see. Amazon is auto-populating this, so it means people are actually searching. And if we look here, there's only 166 results for ferret notebook, which is absolutely insane. And there's still thousands of these niches just like this. You just have to look first. Remember, animals, sports, pets, food, jobs, all these are niches and niches within the notebook niche. Now, always try and remember to create your notebooks around a niche which people are really passionate about. So people are passionate about animals, they're more passionate about their pets, so any type of pet, they're passionate about their hobbies. So that could be soccer, football, basketball, baseball, golf. These are all hobbies that people are passionate about. And when you have a niche which people are passionate about, you're more likely going to sell that book if it's a good quality one. But here, ferret. Ferret Notebook. This is just one niche out of thousands. Now, if we go back to here, this list isn't that great. So what we could do is just go back out of this website and check out a new one. So we've got a list of pets, huge list of pets and different types of pets. So let's click on here and see what we have. Hopefully, it is going to be a huge list. And then we can just take that list go over to Amazon and see if there's demand. So I hope you can see just how easy or simple and easy it is to find niches because niches are absolutely everywhere. Now let's scroll through. We have turtles, maybe a turtle notebook. So let's go back, take that out, do turtle. Turtle Notebook. So now we can see Amazon's auto-populating it, which means there's traffic. So now I'd see if any of these are profitable. Now we have Turtle Notebook, Spiral, Journal. Turtle Notebooks and Journals for Adults. So that's a good niche just there. Turtle Notebooks and Journals for Kids. A Sea Turtle Notebook. So top tip, if you have lots of keywords here related to your main keyword, the more keywords here, the more traffic that there's going to be. 
Now, if you're like me and you have Helium 10, we could actually take this keyword, plug it into Helium 10, and see how much traffic there actually is, because you can check that on one of the tools within that software. But doing this, this is just free, we can see if there's demand, we can see if there's a lot of demand, and we can still see if it's profitable just by using the free tools. But again, Turtle Notebook is one out of thousands and thousands of niches. So we have rabbit, hamster. So let's check hamster because lots of people have them. Hamsters, no, hamster notebook. So we got hamster notebook for girls. Hamster composition notebook. So again, another completely different niche because notebook is different from a composition notebook. But now I would go through here, checking all these keywords to see if they're profitable. If it is, I'd put it into a list for future reference. Then I'd just move on to the next. We have a mouse, a mouse notebook. Let's take a look. So mouse, we can see People are actually searching for this, a mouse notebook. Now these two, I'd stick away from them because that's Disney, Mickey Mouse notebook, Minnie Mouse notebook, stay well clear. But the standard mouse notebook, we can see people are actually searching for this. Now if we go back, scroll down, we can do parrot, goldfish, tropical fish. Is there any more? Then we have more stuff down here. We have the alphabet just here so we could go through animals starting with a b c d e we could go through every single one of these checking the animals going over to amazon to see if there's demand and that's just how easy it is finding niches is the easy part finding out if they're profitable is the harder part so go ahead, give it a go. If you struggle with niches, try this out. Go over to Google, start typing in list of animals, list of pets, list of food, list of plants, list of hobbies, list of sports, and all these different types of lists. Give it a go, go over to Google, come over to Amazon and see if there's demand. The more research you do, the better chances you have of making sales. But please remember, the easier it is to create a book, the more competition there's going to be. How hard is it to create a notebook? Not very hard, so there's going to be a lot of competition. Now, if you like this method, don't forget to drop a comment down below letting me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.